C-SPAN's local content vehicles are traveling the country visiting cities and communities as we look at issues impacting the nation. We take you now to Cobo Arena in Detroit, where the North American International Auto Show is taking place. While there, we caught up with Michigan Governor Rick Snyder as he toured the show. The rebuilding of Michigan, the reinvention of Michigan, are the companies here and the universities here, not the fact the government is here. It is companies, it is innovators, it is entrepreneurs that are going to create the more and better jobs of our future. And our role as government is to be a supporting player in that and to create the very best environment that make that happen. And we are committed to that. We are going to make that happen with tax reform, regulatory reform, and having the very best economic development people in the world to create that environment for success. So I'm excited by the opportunity we have in front of us. The pep stations, these guys, they really have some nice charging station technology that they want us to start helping them with. And uh, right now you've got, we're back. Uh, see, you get to show you've got a lot of Michigan <laughs> stuff. So I, the, the governor wants to see what you have. Yeah, this is our charging station. It charges two cars, sits on a concrete base. You can run into it with a car. Uh, this is a standard right here. Visa card, access card, yeah. uh, touch screen, monitored uh, remotely by uh, D-Bowl. Uh, it's, it's designed from the building owner standpoint because all the energy is in the buildings. Well, I think we've made a lot of progress. I'm excited about the future of the auto industry. Um, now that the bailouts are over, um, other companies have succeeded very well without assistance, companies especially like Ford, um, they've taken their break-even points in this industry to a point where they can be profitable again and look towards the future. So in terms of the auto industry, the part I really get excited about is we've moved from negative to positive. We've moved from looking in the rearview mirror to looking forward. And that's the same message we're trying to take across our state in terms of our culture. And our role as government is to support these companies succeeding because that's how we're going to create more and better jobs. We're going to get this done. What has been the impact um, on Detroit and the state of Michigan? Well, we've gone through a, at least 10 years of a very difficult time, a recession to a depression kind of environment, but we're picking ourselves up. What got me elected was people being positive in Michigan to say there's a bright future out there and let's build a new Michigan. It is time to reinvent our state. We're doing Segway races here. Yeah. <laughs> Segway, they've got uh, Ford has, uh, yes. you know, an electric race car yeah. track. So. Governor, what kind, of family, what kind of cars is your family in right now and are you looking to buy anything? Yeah, we have both Ford and GM in the family right now. Good. And that's gone great. And for our campaign, we had a GMC hybrid um, that we drove 80,000 miles on campaigning. Good. So that was our main campaign vehicle. It's a proximity switch that you actually get your finger close to when you push a button, so there's no actual switch. It's kind of like an iPod. And, um, and so it's very innovative, very different. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's yeah. You, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. So it's... We should really have those. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Looks pretty fast. I'll charge it. All these cars are new. We're, we're approaching 2011. I told them last year. Yeah. Got that. Governor, what's your take on the government bailouts of GM and Chrysler? Well, what I said, and I still hold to that, is in this particular case, it, it was appropriate because you were talking about the entire auto industry. It wasn't about bailing out one particular company or another company. Um, it would have been an issue of bringing down the entire infrastructure for the auto industry. So, so was that a wise investment? Uh, that's yet to be determined. Uh, in terms of, in particular though, I just like to highlight the fact Ford didn't go through that process. They were able to su survive and go very well, be successful without having to go through that process. And that's a great role model for all of us to say, let's reinvent our state. Do you think it was successful for GM? Well, I'm excited about their future. We just saw some fabulous products and I hope they do well. I mean, that's in the best interest of all of us is to see the auto companies do well and I'm excited about their role and presence in Michigan. My counterpart, of course, is U.S. Commerce Secretary Greg Locke. He's got a big job. He's got to double U.S. exports in five years. My, my uh, response to that is Canada's the place to really get that going because uh, you can obviously the United States got to trade with Vietnam, they got to trade with China, they got to trade all over the world, but we're right next door. We're 
are certainly part of the solution. So I agree with you. We got a piece of that border, and we want to get as many things going back and forth as we can. Terrific. Well, I so wish I you well in, in your in your term. I know it's uh, just getting started, but uh, certainly congratulations on that score. And, uh, you've got a friend and an ally just north of the border. Well, same from this perspective. Thank you. Thank you very much. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. path to being a great city again and the way I view it is is I think Mayor Bing is the right person he's got the right direction and I just want to make sure I'm there to partner with him in terms of bringing the state government as a wonderful partner and we're gonna make that happen we've got a great relationship and I hope to build on that hope to see him this week and speaking of partnerships looking to Washington the Obama administration your view on how their role will figure in with all of this well, I think it can be a positive role. Again, I want to be proactive. We actually went to Washington yesterday and met with a couple of cabinet secretaries. I believe I was one of the first governors or the first governor to make a trip um, to go talk about how we can work on things together. Because if you look at, it's not about who wins or loses. It's There's opportunity for us all to succeed by having a better tax environment, regulatory environment, a better system to allow these companies to just do fabulous things and create jobs. Is there anything specific that you're asking for from the automotive recovery or no, again, it's not about asking for bailouts or handouts or that kind of thing. It's about with the existing world that we have, because I believe the federal government needs to be more cost efficient. We need more value for money from the federal government along with state government and local government. It's really how can we partner within those existing frameworks to do a better job of cooperating, understanding problems and issues on the ground, in the field, and getting those out of the way. So in some ways, I wanted to talk to Washington about saying, can't we help partner with you to let you understand first person what these issues really are and as opposed to being you know sort of isolated in the Washington environment and I it was a good response and I look forward to working with them so thanks guys C-SPAN's local content vehicles are traveling the country visiting cities and communities as we look at issues impacting the nation for more information on our local content vehicles, go to our website at cspan.org slash lcv.